Hey guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. This is another pit fire episode and this this episode is all about the glazes and me painting the glazes on, on the pots that I've made. Now, this lot over here have been kiln dried and this little lot over here have only been put in the oven so far and I'm gonna do a little test on them both. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to kiln dry this one. I'm just going to go straight for the big pit fire on these. And on these ones, um, obviously, they've already been kiln dried. So we're going to put some glazes on them today. Um, so it's a little bit of a test between which ones are going to work out better. Um, the glazes I'm using, one is uh, Copper Aqua, and I'll give you a little close up of that copper aqua and the other one's called cola and that's a really nice dark color um this one's obviously a little bit more coppery and blue blue like really nice um sort of ocean ocean color very nice um and then we've got an orange and a red um now they're all very nice colors um I've chose them specifically because they apparently they'll glaze at temperatures around 950. So I've got to try and get the pit fire up to about a thousand degrees for the actual glazes to work. And also when I wrap them in foil, I've got to try and make sure that the parts that are, are glazed are not touched, being touched by the foil because they will just stick together and it won't work. So um, it's going to be a little bit to it. Um, obviously, this is not the first. This is not last time you're going to be seeing these pots again. When I'm at the pit fire, I'm going to be wrapping them up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do when I wrap them up. Um, and then we'll put them in the pit, pit fire, and then off we go. So let's get to glazing these, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. So right guys, for this one, this first one, this pot is is mine. Um, I'm gonna be keeping this one. So I'm gonna go inside the pot here with copper aqua. And I'll show you the color of how it will turn out. And I'm just gonna go neat with it. Now, I have been told I follow uh, Michael Demib from, um, he's a, a pottery uh, YouTuber and he does pitfire pottery. If you were to type in pitfire, then it would come up. Um, and he says that you can't glaze your pots in a pit fire. Now, obviously I believe him, um, but he does glaze the inside of his pots. So that's what I'm gonna to attempt to do is glaze the inside of the pot really roughly. It really, I don't want neatness I want a bit of wabby sabby going on because I like that and we're gonna see how it all turns out I'm even I'm not even gonna touch the rim and like I say, just really, really roughly. You can see how it's really drying out really quickly. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll do that again with maybe some watered down stuff this time. Um, and then it will be thick in, one, in some places and not in others. And hopefully it will give off a, a different color. Um, so that's the first one done. Just gonna wash. 
wash my brush there. All right, I'll come back to that one. I might even add some different colors on top. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna do the outside of the bowl yet. In fact, am I? Or shall I? Uh, I do second guess myself and do you know what? I am. I'm gonna try. It's red, but I'm gonna go really, really light on it, like so. Just around, I don't know whether you can see, just around some of the wavy bits that I've got. Just a bit of that is what we want. Give that brush a wash. And then I might And then what I'll do is I'll explain what we're going to do with this. Okay, so that all right, that one's done for now. All right, I'll get the next ones. So, all right, the next one is for my friend Matt from Bobcat Bonsai, and I know you all know Matt. Um, so this is for him. So what should we do with this? I reckon orange. Orange is the way to go. And I'm gonna go neat with this. Now this is obviously, this is the inside of the pot, so it's never gonna be seen, but I just want it to have, when you're having a look at it, I want it to have a bit of, you wanna say choir in the middle, so to speak. So it doesn't look like it's, it's not been thought about, you know? When it has, it's been specially made for him, because I know he likes me boats. And, well, I thought I'd make him this. And I'm going to send him a few stuff, a few bits and pieces. I've got a few bits and pieces um, left over for when I used to make stuff, or still make stuff, but I've still got a few bits and pieces left over. And he's going to make me one of his root hooks, I think. So that would be quite nice to get one of his mat root hooks. If you don't know about his root hooks and his tools that he he does um he's got a website now bobcat bonsai i think this is that's his website so check him out and yeah get some tools off of him 
Right. So that's the inside of that one done. Let's go with the cola. The cola is a really dark colour. So I'm only going to go light. And I want to do just some in the lines there. Not a lot, just a little indication. Same on the other side. That was a bit too much, but hey ho. That'd be all right. We don't mind little happy mistakes because let's be honest, there is no mistake because it's never been done before. So, one side can be slightly different from the other. It really doesn't matter. So, that's the outside done. Like I say, I'm really not going to be doing much because the outside of it is what's going to be closest to the flames and the wood. So, and obviously then the foil is going to go over that. So that might actually stick to the stick to the glaze, and then it might not work anyway. So I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, all right. I know it seems strange, but you're not dealing with a kiln a kiln fire you're dealing with um, a pit fire which is completely different so let's go on with the next one what we've got next let me just get the next one all right so this is going to be a little bit more awkward for you to see but you can see that some last time some of the the clay got didn't get burnt and this this got burnt and which is expected and then the underneath, a lot of it didn't. Okay, so obviously we're gonna be wrapping this up again and these little curves and bits like these and dips and stuff are not actually gonna to be touched by the foil. So I can get on and I can actually glaze them. So I'm gonna choose a color that I'd like and I think I wanna go a red with this one. And this time, I'm actually going to pour some in a pot. And add some water. Let me sort this out. So I've added a little bit of water. And like I say, these little dips and troughs and stuff, I'm just gonna soak it in. Cause these are the bits that are not gonna be touched by the foil. As ever, 
rustic. Just gonna put this down if I can without it breaking. There we go. You can even use some just neat like that. Give it a little bit thicker in here in places. And in little troughs and places like that, that's a good place to put it. I know we're not gonna, probably not gonna see it. So let's turn this one over. think about this bit what do we think about this center um, I know I am gonna go aqua don't know why I want to go to Aqua, but I do. <laughs> it's very black. And I want to lighten it up a bit. And I really want it to be, you know, different colours. It's Most of it's not going to be seen. So only the edge is really going to be seen. So I just want to mix it up a bit. And I think that the Aqua that I'll show you now is... I mean, I could go with a, that cola look, but oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with both. When in doubt, go with both. So let's start up here. Remember, rustic doesn't have to be the same in all the spots. I love a bit of wabby sabby. My excuse for messing everything up. Wow, well, wabby sabby did. <laughs> wabby sabby did, really, honestly. That's, that's what it was meant to be like. If I'd have thought about it, that could have been a river. It still can kind of be a river, can't it? All right, so we're not done on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the cola over the top of, with some of that as well. So we'll have a real mix of color. Let's do a bit more here, there. Now the cola.
think there's enough glaze on that. Gone a bit mad on that, but hey ho. So I'm gonna give, turn it over again. Without breaking it, get my fingers too dirty, like that. And we had the red, didn't we? So I'm actually going to go. Let's go with some more aqua. So I'm going to put that somewhere else for that to dry and that one's done. So next up, we have match tray that got broken in the pit fire. All right, so next up we have match tray that got broken in the pit fire. And I wanna try on these, the reds. I want it really bright, I want it really fun, I want it to go in deep there, just like that. Again, very rustic. I'm going to have to repeat this process, I know. But... Just like that, I'm gonna get another brush. Where's the other brush there? And we're gonna go with the orange.
flip it over. And we are definitely going with cola. And we're going with cola inside those grooves. So these guys are going to end up as little accent, accent pots or accent trays. So that's what they, these two are going to end up like or being used for. So let's get these out of the way now. Right, so here's where the other experiment comes in. And that is, I'm just giving Matt's boat some red in there too. Because I don't want it just, just to be orange, I want some mixed colour in there. But, right, so this is Matt's tray. And it's supposed to emulate a bit of bark now you just see me do the other ones I'm gonna do this with a little bit more grace and not so not so much because it is supposed to be a piece of bark and there's not a real red colour coming through all the time on a piece of bark. It's just intermittent sort of colours like that. So I'm going to take care to make sure it's, there's not lots. I think that one will do for that one. And then we're gonna go for the orange as well. I'm actually gonna wipe it over the reds so it mixes in. So not crazy, just just a little bit because I want some. I want to do something something else with this as well. So really not very crazy at all. And we come over and we're going to do the cola on the back. 
Uh, I will try and get in these grooves because that's where it's going to pop is inside there running along the edges and there we go that's that one done that's all I'm gonna do with that and then do something else with this obviously in the pit fire like I've said so I'm going to put this one over there to dry next up this is turns out to be another special one for someone and I'm actually just gonna do cola. What shall I do? I'm not, I'm gonna do aqua. I'm actually gonna go with aqua this time. And I'm gonna put it on deep and heavy. I want this to be all glaze really glazed up You can hear that noise, it's my cat playing. She likes to play in the middle of the night when I do my work, my stuff. But he likes to play. So we are all glazed up on that one and I've pretty much run out of paint on there. So I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna go orange. Why not? Orange. Right, there we go, that's that one done. This one is for Jason Hanrahan and from the Bonsai Garden. Um, 
this is his tray. So hopefully this one's gonna pit fire really nicely and I'll be able to give it to him. I'll just, I'll, sh I'll show you the, uh, just about to do the, the pot. I'll show you the pot now. There we go guys, there's the little pot I made for him. So, hopefully he'll like that. We're sitting there on the tray, hopefully he'll think that's nice. Um, colour. I've gone with aqua. So I'm gonna go daring and go with red. Well, see, this is on the inside of the pot, Jason, if you do watch this video. Hopefully you will, because I'm making it for you, after all. But you don't have to, obviously. Um, but this is... Uh, I'm going to try and make this the nicest I can for you. And it's, it's a take on um, Mount Fuji. And... I know that's your favourite, your favourite artist is, you know, this, this man behind me, who takes the 37 or the 36 um, images of Mount Fuji. And I know you like it. So this is kind of a little take on that. supposed to emulate the water now even though I've done this very nice it is still gonna be a little bit wabby sabby which I know you appreciate Like I say, Jason, you don't really have to watch my potting videos. I know you don't like the potting videos. But I hope that you do like this. Now, I'm actually going to go in with some orange as well. Let it dry for a second. There you go. So that's the centre done. Now, 
this outside. What do you guys think? I think. So we've got a bit of red and then we're going to go with a final bit of aqua. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work, whether this glaze on this is going to work whatsoever. I have no idea. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it won't stick to the foil. Um, Michael Demib from... Uh, I don't know his channel name off by hand. But he it seems to think that it won't work. And the glazes don't work but I'm all for giving something a go and I want to give it a go so why not let's just try it if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't that's the good thing about this right once they're once they're all pit fired once they're kiln dried and pit fired or just kiln dried you can do whatever you want with them after that does that make sense you can you can pit fire it you can kiln dry it you can put it you can pit fire it as many times as you want then and it will come out different colors and something else will happen to it it's nothing set in stone once it's dried okay you can pit fire and pit fire and pit fire and pit fire and change the color and change the color and do this and do that it might end up black but you know, it's sorry, my it's made my made my nose go. <coughs> so that's how one that one done. And this last one is an absolutely massive one. I'm not gonna. There's no point in me filling out the middle. You can see it's. It's got a big crack down it. Um, it's going to be mine anyway, so I'm not going to. I'm not really going to be too fussed. I'm just going to put some on the outside, and I will go with um, some aqua because I really like that colour. And plus, I might as well just finish it off.
so that's the aqua I've done on that one. Right, that's all I'm going to do with that because, like I say, that one's going to, this one's going to be mine anyway. There's no point, no point in um, keeping it. So, or giving it away to someone because they won't appreciate a broken pot. So, all right, so there we go then guys, that's um, all the glazing done, hopefully it'll work out, um, if it doesn't, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter, it's all completely an experiment um, I'll know better for next time you know um, these ones obviously you know I haven't done too much on the outside and I'll explain that when I do the pit fire I'll wrap them all up and I'll show you what I'm going to do next with it so thanks for tuning in um, please like and subscribe and follow this and follow me follow my journey through bonsai and uh, like I say, please like and subscribe for me. And I'll see you, hopefully, I might make another video before the pit fire, but in a little while, about a week or so, I'll see you for the pit fire. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Ta-da.